In this video I'm going to construct a single page web server. This one I'm going to use a ESP8266, a Wemos D1 Mini. And I'm using one of these um, Bosch BME 280 uh, devices that measures uh, temperature, humidity and air pressure. And Note the connections there, V in ground, clock and data. And uh, so what I've done in the software, I have organised the connections so that I think you just about make that out. It's, I'll use a pointer, pointer, 5 volts ground D4 and D3 so that that card can plug in to the um, Wemos and uh, can be a self-contained unit. Alternatively, more conventionally, there is a slight problem there in the heating from the uh, processor does conduct to the uh, to the chip but for demonstration purposes that works uh, perfectly well or more conventionally extend the uh, connections on with one of these cable assemblies like that and make sure I get it around the right way like this so that there's less thermal uh, conduction between the the two but essentially it's the same. I'll show you what the software is producing in the way of a single page web server and then I'll do a code walkthrough. Okay we'll do a um, code walkthrough of this single page web server and it's serving the Bosch sensor readings of temperature, humidity and pressure. Uh, first of all these are the libraries required to operate the sensor and the ESP8266 as a server. Um, adjust these values here to be your SSID and your password. In this particular example I've set, I fixed the IP address and that's, you can set it to it arbitrary at any value you like. Um, depends on your router this part here will will vary. Um, my router address, base address is there and then this is the subnet mask. Uh, ordinarily you wouldn't need that because the DHCP server would assign you a, a random, often random IP address. Three floating point variables for pressure, temperature, humidity, and a integer count variable, which is in the footer of the web page to show you that it's uh, updating. Um, establish the server on port 80. Um, reassign the Adafruit library name to be uh, BME, just makes it easier to read for example there is easier to read than Adafruit BME 280. Um, in this terms of setup uh, establish a serial port uh, printer diagnostic on the serial port configure the Wi-Fi connection I've, I'm nowadays adding this command here which stops writing when, when you establish a Wi-Fi connection it writes the credentials of your network to the ESP8266 flash memory. There are a limited number of flash write cycles about 10,000 but they soon get consumed. This command stops the writing 
to the uh, flash memory and begin the Wi-Fi connection and uh, wait for it to be connected print out a series of dots until it's connected um, start start the server print a diagnostic message I found it useful for reliability purposes to um, so I switched on the pull up resistor that, that improves reliability set the I2C bus speed begin the communication with the uh, sensor and make sure there's a sensor there before carrying on and then into the main loop and the first thing to do is to check that there's a client available uh, if there is a client available service the client otherwise keep looping round until client connection is made so you can follow that if statement down to the bottom there uh, if there is no client connected just comes to here and then goes back and checks again so it keeps checking for a client connection if a client does connect set a variable to say is the line blank and then while the client is connected to the server and the client is available read data from the client looking for if it's uh, a blank line because because there's no parameters passed to the uh, to the call so it's just 192.168.0.53 in this example it's a blank line at the end then read the temperature wait a while read the humidity and uh, then the pressure apply any calibration figures that are required the pressure is in um, uh, hectopascal so it needs a little bit of adjustment do a diagnostic print of the serial port and then calculate the heat index and the dew point now to make it easy to read um, rather than have BME uh, temperature and first of all the temperature needs to be in Fahrenheit not Celsius T is the variable name that is uh, the Celsius temperature converted to Fahrenheit so that these are little shorthand shorthand variables strictly speaking not required so again rather than RHX being BME humidity it's just easier to read and doesn't make it a overly long equation so those are two derived values heat index and dew point which you can calculate from temperature humidity now format and send send to the client a correctly formatted HTML web page and the only thing that's important really is that the table for temperature humidity pressure dew point and heat index contains the actual variables and there they are up and down there uh, with their units tagged on um, keep doing that and when when the line has when the page has been served to the client wait a short while flush the buffers close down the client connection increase the count by one the count gets displayed here so if you sit so the page will automatically refresh every 15 seconds or uh, whatever value you set so if you set this value in here the content is refreshed every 15 seconds you could make that 30 or 5 minutes or whatever um, wait 5 back down to the end wait 5 seconds just to not read too quickly from the sensor um, and then repeat the whole thing 
So that's a code walkthrough of a single page web server. Um, note that the technique is much different from the web server under dis described in TechNote 005 and it's more of a minimal um, schema that's being employed here. That's it folks.